Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Prehistoric Werewolves. A challenge in The Sims 4, and the rules will be in the description below if you want to follow along or start your own challenge. Now, we're playing with werewolves that have no civilization, so I have a lot of CC in this challenge. And I am just warning you also that if you don't like death rolls, especially for children, infants, and newborns, and also pregnancy loss, then you shouldn't watch this video. So this series is going to be a lot of challenge and a lot of struggle. We've already been having a lot of struggle, especially since winter is now over and it's spring. So this is the last family that is going to be the clan of the loners. And we have Cheyenne Goss and Dallas Gupta. So we have three babies and unfortunately they were born without me being able to set their names. So this is Byron and Davin and Angel. And we're going to go ahead and take care of all of them. And then we're going to send Dallas out to gather some food. Now hopefully the snow will melt soon and we can go fishing. Now, one of the reasons why the babies are crying all the time is, unfortunately, they're out here in the snow. And I have this werewolf cave built, but don't worry, we will be able to move underground. We just have to make our way through the tunnels, and we can't get down here until we learn the way. Okay, now that Dallas has discovered all of the different paths, then he can share them with Cheyenne. Okay, now they both know how to use the underground tunnels. So we move the babies downstairs. And then we're just working on reading some werewolf books. Because that's for our aspiration. Cheyenne has read two. And then Dallas has only read one. And that's because he was very tired and had to sleep a lot. So she's got a head start on him. It's getting pretty close to the time that they're going to Rampage, so we might have to go downstairs soon. And Cheyenne is eating for two. We don't have time to tell Dallas though because we need to finish feeding these newborns before we Rampage. My strategy for having babies in this series has changed. It to become pregnant all of the time because it seems like the kids don't tend to survive. What I might also do is say for each parenting skill that Cheyenne has or the mother has, that the kid actually gets an extra point for that to help them survive. Okay, Cheyenne is transforming. I didn't get a chance to feed the babies one more time. Hopefully they'll be okay. Well, we made it through Monday and Cheyenne actually got the transformation mastery because we locked her away in the panic room and she's doing pretty well I think that Dallas is going to change soon but it seems like he's taking a long time why did his fury go down okay Dallas has decided that he's neat but that's okay because it's actually a good trait to have Angel aged up. I must have missed their notification. I was wondering when they were going to age up. Angel's going to be sunny. Davin is going to be calm. And Byron is going to be intense. Okay, we have Angel, who is sunny, and a werewolf, but no werewolf trait. Byron is a greater wolf blood. Okay, so he has a greater chance of surviving if there is any accidents and then Devon has no werewolf trait so we did get one greater wolf and why are you all hungry i just fed you oh no we have an earthquake already it's only tuesday oh it's a volcanic bomb i can hear them going off Okay, no fires, please. All right, no fire. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and feed these infants and put them to bed. Because if I do the death rolls right now, if we lose the mom, then unfortunately the little babies can only be breastfed. So that's not a good thing. 
I've had bad luck with losing the mothers right away. Okay, so I have input all of the traits, and I gave six points for Cheyenne's parenting being level six, and then the pregnancy gets the same score as Cheyenne's traits plus the level six parenting. So let's see who survives this one. Oh, and I did not copy this down here. Okay, so, um, well, the pregnancy did not survive, but neither did Cheyenne. So this has been my luck for some reason. I don't know why, but the mother seems to die first all of the time. And that is really bad when you have infants and especially when you have newborns. So unfortunately, I don't have a way to feed the infants because typically you don't bottle feed at this point. At this stage, there is no bottle feeding. So we have to figure out something to do for that. Okay, and unfortunately, we'll just cheat to kill Cheyenne and we'll get an urn in order to drop it off at the haunted house. Okay, what I've decided to do is I'm going to try to spoon feed these infants, but in order to do that, they have to be able to sit up. So we have to speed run. Uh, I can't do this. What do you mean in water? I'm not in water. Interesting. For some reason, the game thinks I'm in water. I don't really have time to figure this out. Okay, I think it's just because I'm in the basement. It doesn't like doing tummy time in the basement. That is going to be a problem. Well, all of the infants were fed, and I do have them trying to sleep. But this is going to be difficult to get them to the point where they can sit up. Okay, we got lift head. <laughs> we are so far away, though. I know you're tired, Byron. But let's try to at least get one rollover, and then you can go to sleep and I'll work on the next one. Okay, Byron got too tired, so now we're trying to help Angel. Okay, Angel lifted her head. Another issue is that Dallas is about to pass out. Okay, we got everyone to be able to lift their head. That's not a lot of progress, though. Okay, I can no longer do tummy time because Dallas is too close to enraging. So I don't think we're going to be able to make it with these infants. They're taken away in 24 hours. Oh, and we have another earthquake. Well, isn't that lovely? Okay, so basically I changed all the parenting stuff to level one because <laughs> that is what Dallas's parenting level is at right now. So let's roll for Dallas and the three infants. And it looks like everyone survived for now. I'm not so sure about those infants because they're not going to learn to set up fast enough. Basically, the best thing I can do for them right now is to try to keep them asleep because their hunger goes down half as fast if they're asleep. Okay, and finally we're rampaging. Okay, finally the rampage is wearing off. Okay, time to resume tummy time with the stinky babies, but... Unfortunately, I don't know if they will get this in time. We only have 13 hours until Byron gets taken away. Okay, we rolled over onto our back. Okay, we can practice sitting, but we haven't rolled over to front. So from my experience, if you practice sitting, they're still going to roll over first. They're not going to sit up first. Okay, and Dallas completed his initiate aspiration. So we're going to select the lone wolf, but we're not going to work on it right now. We're just trying to keep the babies alive. 
Now, with my other family that was part of the collective, I actually merged the two families. But since this is the loner's family, there's only one family that is in that category. So we can't go to another family and have these infants adopted because they're loners. Okay, he's cooing. Uh, come on, don't coo. Okay, he rolled over by himself. Maybe we'll practice sitting. Hopefully we can practice sitting underground. I'm not sure if we can or not. Okay, we got a milestone. This is probably rollover to tummy, though. Yeah, he rolled over to his tummy. Okay, now we're going to practice sitting again. Although the practice sitting seems to get the rollover tummy quicker, so maybe we'll just go directly to that. Come on, Byron. You have 11 hours. I'm sure we can get this in 11 hours. We might be able to save one of the infants. Now, the reason why I'm favoring Byron is because Byron actually has the greater wolf blood. And if we can get... Oh, he's going to sit up. He's going to sit up. If we can get him to adulthood, he's more likely to survive. All right, you set up. Now you can sit in the high chair and I can offer you table food. Okay, now the way that I play this is because I'm on a simple living lot, I have to sacrifice a harvestable in order to give Byron table food. And we're going to say that the mushrooms are hummus. And of course, my CC one doesn't even work. Well, we tried. Okay, what about this one? Does this one work? Come on. Don't sit down. I don't know why Sims do that sometimes. You tell them to do something and they have to go sit first. And why are you taking him out of the high chair? Great. Are the high chairs bugged? Okay, finally, we're trying the baby food. All right, so Byron at least has had a little bit of food. Okay, he likes hummus. That's good because that's all we have. Okay, well... That helped a little bit. We'll just leave you here to go to sleep. Because I think they can, yeah, they can nap in the high chair. And then what I'm going to have Dallas do is maybe we can get one more invent. Davin is 10 hours. And then Angel, ooh, Angel looks like she's probably the one that needs it the most. Okay, sorry, Byron. We're going to have to... Uh, uh, skip your bath for right now. I'll give you a bath later. You have some food and now we have to go help your brother and sister. We only have nine hours to help Angel. Okay, we rolled over to back. Now we can practice sitting. I know it's hard, Angel, but we have to do this because formula does not exist in this time. So mashed table food exists, but formula does not exist because we don't have livestock. We don't have any way of getting some other kind of milk. Okay, we have seven hours. Hopefully we can at least get Angel to sit up. And then we will have saved two of the infants. I'm not so sure if we can do the same for Davin. Okay, we have Angel rolling over, I think. Yes, okay. She rolled over to her tummy, and now we can try sitting again. Come on, Angel. You only have six hours to learn to sit, and then you have to eat something. Oh, you're going to sit on your first time? Okay, it took like three or four times for her to roll over to her tummy, but it looks like she's going to sit up right away. That's awesome. And if you pick up the infants, you can actually take them through the portals. Okay, now we can give Angel some hummus and come on. No, don't don't check him. Okay, Byron, you got to go back to sleep. I'm sorry. Okay, the high chairs are so glitchy. I have to have them not near anything else because it depends on what side he tries to stand on. If something is in his way, he won't do it. Okay, finally, we're getting Angel to try some food. Now, Byron is hungry again, but he's not hungry enough to worry about. So I might try to go save Davin. Okay, Davin, you're the last one. Sorry you had to wait so long. We only have six hours to get you to sit up. Okay, he rolled over to his back. 
it's actually really hard to keep Dallas from autonomously feeding him. So I don't have a mod that prevents that. I'm just trying my best. And if Dallas autonomously feeds Davin, I'll just have to keep track of the time. He's going to be taken away in four hours. So if by 10.30 p.m. he doesn't sit up and eat at the high chair, then unfortunately Davin doesn't make it. Oh, he's going to sit up. We might have saved all three infants if I can get the high chairs not to be glitchy. Oh no, he rolled over to his tummy. That's right. He was, hasn't done that yet. Okay, we have to practice sitting some more, Devin. I'm sorry. Okay, it looks like he's going to sit up the very first time. So this gives me three more hours to get you to eat something. Yeah, he's sitting up. Okay, hopefully this is not glitchy. If it's glitchy, I might cheat. Okay, the other two were kind of glitchy. I had to move the high chair around until I could find a place where they would eat. But that's not the case for Davin. So we saved all three infants. They're a little bit smelly and a little bit of a diaper rash, but that's okay. We'll fix you. Okay, now he's not eating. Come on, you're wasting my food. Okay, we've got Byron almost full. We're going to give Byron a bath and then put him in the playroom so he can have some fun. I wonder if the bubble bath, yeah, the bubble bath also gets his fun up a little bit. So when we put him upstairs in the playroom, we'll put him in reach of the toys, but probably he'll sleep on the floor. So he can't go up and down stairs. He'll just stay in the playroom until we get the other two fed and washed. And then hopefully Dallas doesn't pass out in the meantime. Actually, we might be able to just put Byron to sleep because it looks like his fun is going up just as much as his hygiene because this bathtub is terrible, actually. It's a CC bathtub, but I think it doesn't have a very high hygiene. And that actually is realistic for the time period. So you would have to spend a lot of time cleaning yourself. Okay, we've got one baby sorted out and put to sleep. He is getting a little bit hungry, but hopefully he'll go to sleep and not be so hungry. Okay, next is Angel's turn. So we just need to feed her a little bit and give her a bath and then put her to bed oh she needs to use her diaper again because i don't want her to pee after she's had her bath okay so far both of them like hummus which is nice okay yeah i know you're not having fun it's okay we'll give you a bubble bath and you'll be fine okay angel is getting super tired but that's okay if the bath is interrupted we'll just put her to bed and it doesn't matter if her fun is red or her, well her fun is no longer in the yellow so we've got all of our needs we can probably stop the bath now and because i didn't let the bath finish unfortunately she still has a dirty diaper okay we'll change your diaper come on stop wiggling around i know you're tired at this rate dallas is going to pass out Okay, we have one more. Davin. Okay, I ran out of time with Davin. I have to let Dallas get a little bit of sleep. And then hopefully we can keep these guys asleep. Come on. Yeah, try to go night-night. You are way too tired to be awake. Okay, I have to keep Dallas clean because unfortunately he needs to be clean. Plus he wants to be outside. That's not good for a person who has to stay inside all the time. Okay, you only get to eat one more hummus, Devin, and you interrupted the last one and you were almost red again. So after that, we'll give him a bath and put him to bed. Although it is the morning already. Well, Devin, I didn't get you to your crib. You're going to have to stay here. <laughs> well, he's going to put him down again for some reason. Yeah, just go night-night. Dallas is going to transform. Oh, he was able to regain control on his first try. And he has transformation mastery. So that means we have to spend the rest of our time as a werewolf. Okay, our energy is decent. We are okay on Fury, not the best. Let's wake up Angel and try and give her some food. She's getting hungry again. 
Okay, we'll change her diaper and then put her on the fun floor. Oh, great. We're about to rampage. Okay, we were able to regain control. It's actually kind of annoying when the milestone interrupts a infant who is in a high chair eating. Just so he can laugh. Okay, Byron, finish your food, please. And it's happening again. Okay, what milestone are you going to get, Devin? Oh, he got reach. Okay, that's not so bad. And Devin is already hungry again. Well, I can't make very much progress with these guys. All three of them have yellow hunger bars. Okay, well, I've got to go to sleep because I'm about to pass out. At least his fury isn't very high, though. Oh, great. Devin is going to get a milestone, which interrupts his eating. Okay, good. Dallas likes fishing, because right now that's all that we can do to get food, because we cannot go hunting. Oh no, Byron doesn't like the porridge. I'm using rice porridge instead of the fish, because if a plate of fish is cooked, I'm saying I can feed the infant until they're completely full, but I have to use rice porridge because that's my equivalent for fish. There's actually nothing that you can feed an infant that is meat or anything animal related. No cheese or anything. I mean, come on. I don't think they should be completely vegetarian. And it doesn't really matter what I assign to what in the menu. It's just important that you keep it the same thing in case the infant likes or dislikes it then it should have the same reaction every time that infant has that food. Yeah, he doesn't like it. <laughs> okay, he'll eat a little bit of it, but he refuses to eat the porridge. Oh no, not another one. It's Saturday. That's three. All right, let me just make sure there are no fires. I don't think there are. Okay, so I have adjusted for Dallas's parenting level two. And these are the traits that they have. So let's see who survives this time. Oh, we had all of them survive except for Angel. So unfortunately, we lose the only girl. What is with the females not surviving? I do not know why. There is no difference between female and male, at least in in my rules, I don't set a difference between the two. So they should be equal chances. And Angel actually has some pretty good traits. It's just that for some reason, for whatever reason, I just roll a whole lot lower for the females. So we did lose Angel this time, unfortunately. Okay, it's almost their birthdays. But it's 2 a.m. on Saturday, so it won't be their birthday until 2 a.m. on Sunday, which means we won't get to see them age up this episode. Oh, Dallas is adventurous. That's a good trait. We'll take that one. Well, with just one hour left, hopefully we won't have any more earthquakes or volcanic bombs. We've managed to get two of them to survive. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.